All right, this is Jimmy Cab's Tape the Broadcast, the 5150 interview series, Bulldozer Magazine, and the very manic Jimmy Cab show on a lovely Sunday rainy evening in the city of Fullerton. This is a very exciting time for me. I am very honored and privileged to be speaking with the innovator, the original space psychedelic warlord himself. Welcome back to Earth, Mr. Nick Turner. How are you? I'm really well. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for taking the time to be speaking with me. Cool. You're very welcome. It's nice to be here and talking to you. <laughs> I feel quite flattered and honored that, uh, you know, at my, uh, at my position. <laughs> this is very interesting that individuals that follow your music career, over 40 years you've been yeah. doing this. Yeah. That's right, yeah. <laughs> 75 years young. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> You're touring. I'm touring, indeed, yeah. So all these young musicians that complain and cry and whine say it's about how t horrible touring is, they're all really, you know, not... They don't know, they don't know a thing. <laughs> One of the things that I've always admired about your music, Mr. Turner, obviously you're well known for being a creative force with Hawkwind. Mm. But even after the fact, you ventured off and done your own thing. One of the things that I've always admired about your music is the fact that you've always expanded the realm okay. creatively. Yeah. Is that something that you always put yourself to challenge? Did you always did you challenge yourself that way? I do, yeah, I do. I do challenge myself a lot. And um, I've always tried to um, do things that I find interesting creatively and irrespective of whatever the the sort of uh, the market is <laughs> well, what people expect you know I I try to feel that what I do is um, is uh, unexpected and uh, <laughs> weird <laughs> do you I don't, I don't intentionally try to be weird I just like to do interesting things do you find yourself with such a vast array of music that you've created do you find yourself challenged to keep going in this creative realm where you're expanding and going into new terrains because you've literally done it all creatively and I mean that <laughs> well, sincerely well I suppose I have on one level but um, I think there's a great big world out there a great big universe or right? cosmos space out is there space is, in, is indeed deep yeah so um, you know I feel I'm not trying to please people I just my philosophy is um, you can't please everybody so please yourself which is what I do and that sort of comes out sort of unexpected and full of surprises and stuff like that really, you know. Is this the reason why your music has always been so unique, refreshing and definitely such on an artistic realm? Because you're, you're literally doing your own thing, there's no chart. That's right, that's right yeah. Yeah, I hope I am and um, you know, I like to feel that what I do is unique and um, interesting. It's got to be interesting for me. Yeah. So I don't sort of try to think, oh, what do people want or what do they expect? Or, you know, I just think, well, I don't care what people expect. I just do my thing. And um, as I say, you know, you can't please everybody. So I try to please myself and produce something that I feel creatively satisfying. And... Um, you know, sort of of interest to people, and I hope that people like what I do. <laughs> but your music, your music also touches base spiritually, and it, I don't say that as far as in the uh, organized religion way, but there's very, it's very spiritual, yeah. somewhat in a transform where it takes you to other dimensions. Do you concentrate when you're creating your music on that aspect as well? I think so. Yeah, I mean, I don't consciously think, oh, well, I'm desperate for somewhere to go. I think, well. I, I like to I like to feel that that what I create is is spiritually satisfying as well, and um, I mean I, ha I I like to imbue it with a certain purity of spirituality. I mean I'm not a religious person as such. I'm a very spiritual person, right. and um, I mean I I um I gain sort of satisfaction and um, spiritual sustenance from from the diversity of what I do without thinking, oh, what can I do now that's different or something like that. I just think, oh, what can I do now that I find interesting? Right. So that's all I want to do is find something interesting for myself that um, I can transmit to people and 
and um, give them something different to sort of uh, ponder on and be stimulated by. <laughs> and, and you have done that for over 40 years. <laughs> Let me ask you this. In the beginning of your career, when you were first writing these now iconic tunes with Hawkwind, yeah. during that time, mm. you were experimenting creatively, musically, and also did you add substances to that to expand yourself at that time? Yeah, I did, yeah. I mean, I, I practiced musically. I tried to expand and... Um, and uh, b develop my my own creativity, and um, and do things that I find interesting, and um, develop what I what I can of my own creativity, and without sort of being influenced by whatever else is going on. You just... you, you definitely stood apart at that time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what's interesting and what's similar now, this is incredible about your music, the fact that not only is it relevant now in 2015. Mm. But the climate is the same. We're in a war climate. Mm. Society as a whole is very hostile all around the world. Mm. Similar to like the late 60s, yeah. you know, yeah. racial bigotry, yeah. violence. Things haven't changed much, have they really? No, they haven't. But with your music, you allowed not only that generation, but all the generation that followed to flee Earth, mm. to mm. leave. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's why you're still doing what you're doing now? I think so, yeah, but because I... I still have hope. <laughs> I'm an optimist. <laughs> Obviously, you don't experiment with uh, substances now to get into the creative. Not really, right? no. Yeah. I mean, the stuff's very strong nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've, I've given all that up. <laughs> How is it possible that not only you're able to touch this young generation with your music, but at the same time retain the original generation? Well, that's, that's right, isn't it? Feature. It's a fantastic thing, isn't it? I, joy, think, no? I think I feel really, really happy and privileged to be able to do that, to touch people, you know, creatively, musically, artistically, harmoniously. I like to make my, my gigs into, into healing experiences where people, you know, I feel a bit silly saying I want to turn this gig into a healing experience and I say I feel healed. And everybody else says, well, so do we. <laughs> but isn't that what music really is? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Right? If, if, you, if you really look at the history of music, it's a form of a ritual to heal. Yeah, indeed, it is a healing ritual, and it's a, it is um, a creative experience. And, um, you know, I think that uh, I feel privileged that I can touch people with it and, um, and enjoy it and not be sanctimonious or, you know... Holier than thou, <laughs> whatever you might say. Yeah, yeah. But I just think I just like to create something that's enjoyable, that I enjoy, that people do enjoy, and I think, well, fantastic. <laughs> it's a great feat. It's a great yeah. feat that you've accomplished. Yeah. It's interesting that when you mentioned Hawkwind, everyone always assumes the drugs mm. experience. They always uh, it, they they capture a certain trait that. I think is horrible because when I meant, when I think of Hawkwind, especially at that time, just the vast genres of music that you've mm. all conspired at that time. Mm. When I listen to your music, mm. not only have you taken it to a whole realm, but I've known that you've mentioned that um, Miles Davis was a big f that you were inspired by Miles mm. Davis. Yeah, I think the whole improvision that you do, mm. especially live. I've seen you numerous times live. Yeah. Do you enjoy that freedom of the live aspect where you could take your songs and just let them loose? Yeah, indeed I do, yeah, yeah. I, like, no, I don't like to be categorized or pigeonholed or, you know, I just like to be creative and touch people and take people with me. Yeah. That's what I want to do. <laughs> take them with you on the journey. Yeah, indeed. What I've always admired about the fact of what you've done is the fact that not only it's creative, but in this day and age everyone is seems so focused on marketing yeah indeed yeah, yeah and everyone has lost touch with what what the whole reason why you're playing music is to play music yeah indeed yeah and it's, it's to sort of take people with you and and um, encourage people to enjoy themselves and have a good time and communicate with them and i feel that you know getting people dancing is a great thing you know it's sort of the, it's a release for people you know, so many times I've seen people that are 
afraid to dance. <laughs> and I think, oh, come on. <laughs> Exercise those demons, correct? Yeah. Have a good time, you know. Have a, have a good time on me. <laughs>